Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So we have two new alerts issued by the Social Security Administration. We're gonna be going over what those alerts are and what they are saying. Plus, we're gonna be going over three changes that we need to prepare ourselves for 2025 coming to Social Security. We're gonna be going over what those three changes are. But before we go ahead and dive into the main content of today's video, if you wouldn't mind helping out real quickly by just giving this video a like, that just helps out with the good old YouTube algorithm, and also consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Plus, if you would like to receive up to $200 in free stock or $200 in free cash in a pinned comment below, I will be leaving a link to Robinhood. All you have to do is once you click on that link is just sign up for a free account and then simply link your bank account. You do not even have to make an opening deposit. At that point in time, Robinhood will be sending you one free stock worth all the way up to $200. And if you'd really just have the cash, all you have to do is once you receive the free stock, it's just sell it for what it's worth and then transfer the cash value right back to your bank account. Okay, so diving right into our first story at today's video. In 2025, there are going to be a few different changes taking place that we will need to prepare ourselves for. We're gonna be going over what these changes are. This is an article right here from The Motley Fool. They, say, they state, these three social security changes are coming in January. Prepare yourselves now. So the first change that they list here is the fact that benefits will be increasing but next year's COLA will likely be lower than in 2024. So social security benefits are eligible for an annual cost of living adjustment or COLA. The whole point of COLAs is to help seniors maintain their buying power as things get more expensive due to inflation. At the start of 2024, social security benefits rose by 3.2%. The year prior, benefits went up by 8.7% in response to the rampant inflation consumers had to deal with in 2022. But next year's Social Security COLA is not shaping up to be quite as generous as this year's. The most recent 2025 COLA estimate puts next year's raise at 2.63%. That's certainly not the smallest Social Security on record, but it is a lower raise than recent ones. So again, over the past few years, we've seen raises 8%. 4%, 7%, kind of all over the board, very, very high because inflation over the past few years has been much higher than what it has been you know, over the past uh, year or so. So inflation, uh, it's still going up at a higher, than, uh, higher pace than what we'd like to see. We would normally like to see inflation at right around 2%. Instead, it's been right around 3%. So we're likely to see a cost limit adjustment next year of right around 2.6%. Now, the second change taking place next year is that higher earners will lose more of their income to Social Security taxes. So Social Security's primary source of revenue is payroll tax, but higher earners don't necessarily pay into the program and all of their earnings. Rather, a wage cap is set each year that dictates how much income is subject to Social Security taxes. This year, the wage cap is $168,600. This means that someone earning $200,000 a year won't pay Social Security taxes on their last $31,400 of income. Next year, that's likely to bump up to, let's say, like $175,000. So, for example, uh, someone who's like a professional athlete that earns $10 million per year, they're not paying payroll taxes on the entire $10 million salary that they are earning. Instead, like next year, for example, they're only going to pay the Social Security payroll tax on the first like $175,000 that they earn, and then anything above $175,000, all the way up to like their $10 million salary that is going to go untaxed. That's why a lot of politicians in Washington are right now are saying like, hey, why don't we tax the money above like $300,000 uh, that's made by these very high earning people, whether they're celebrities, whether they're athletes, or whether they're business owners, and tax that amount that also will go into the Social Security Trust Fund. That way we can keep this thing solvent for a longer period of time. That's why that's one of the ideas thrown out there, mostly by Democrats. Republicans are mostly anti-tax. So Republican politicians, most of them anyways, are very much against that idea. Now the third change that we can likely see next year in 2025 is that it will be harder to qualify for. So seniors don't automatically qualify for Social Security simply by reaching a certain age. To be eligible for benefits in retirement, you'll need to accumulate 40 work credits in your lifetime. 
at a maximum of four credits per year. In 2024, a single work credit is worth $1,730 of earnings, but that threshold is likely to increase in 2025. If you work very part-time but want to qualify for Social Security, you may need to look at increasing your hours to ensure that you're getting the number of work credits that you want. Now, one of the bonus changes that will be taking place next year, something else that we really need to keep an eye out on, are, of course, the increases in the Medicare Part B premiums. We won't know that until probably the end of October, possibly even November of what those increases will look like. But we do sort of have like a sneak peek estimate from the Medicare trustees report. And their most recent report, they came up with an increase of $10 and 30 cents a month taking place next year in 2025. That will be that will be an increase of 5.9% from what it is this year, right now $174.70. So if we see a Medicare Part B premium increase of 5.9%, but we only see a cost of living adjustment of let's say like 2.6%, then uh, it's really going to cut away of how much of an increase we're actually going to be receiving, uh, which is obviously going to be quite disapp disappointing for a lot of people receiving benefits. Now, of course, in our other story of today's video, the Social Security Administration recently put out two alerts, something that we definitely need to keep our eyes out for. So according to Forbes, the Social Security Administration recently issued two alerts about the program. Many people who access information about their Social Security benefits through a My Social Security account on the Social Security website will have to access their accounts in a different way. The SSA says that anyone who created an account before September 18th of 2021 soon will have to access the account through either login.gov or id.me. These are two credential service providers that many other government online services use to provide additional security and protection and simplify sign-in experiences. If you already have an account with either of those services, you won't need to create a new one Otherwise, at some point in the near future, you'll have to create an account with one of those services to access your My Social Security account. It's best to create an account with those services sooner rather than later. So that's the first alert that they are issuing. That is something that you will eventually have to go in and they will prompt you to update. It's very easy to do, but it is one of those kind of annoying processes that yes, we will have to go through. And the second alert, of course, deals with fraud. So there have been different articles out there uh, dealing with like a $600 COLA increase or a $600 stimulus check, different articles out there labeling that, but that has just simply been untrue. So they go on to say that the other alert regards fraudulent reports you might have seen online or in emails. The reports say that Social Security beneficiaries are due an additional $600 cost of living adjustment during 2024 to supplement the COLA implemented at the start of the year. Some reports say that beneficiaries are due to receive a $600 Stimulus check, this of course, once again, is simply untrue. There are no stimulus checks go going out there. Uh, the cost of living adjustment will not be announced until the middle of October. And certainly it's not going to be $600 across the board unless you're receiving already like the maximum amount that you can receive. And even then it's not going to be like a $600 increase for you. Uh, there's no, there are no talks about stimulus checks right now. Uh, at the state level, there are some different like universal basic income programs that you might want to keep an eye out on. But at least at the federal level, there are no talks of like a stimulus check or anything like that. And there more than likely won't be unless we go into like a recession. One, we would have to go into a recession. The economy would have to decline. We'd have to see the unemployment rate rise. And then, of course, we would also need to see the inflation rate lower at 2% or possibly even lower for there even to be talks about another stimulus check that likely won't take place until 2025 at earliest. Um, but again, we will have to wait and see. That's all we have for today's video though. I certainly hope you enjoyed and found value out of it. If you did, again, I would greatly appreciate it if you could give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video.